Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Today, Beta 2 for Chapter 1 of Beyond hit the servers and it came with a number of very nice changes. Many of these focus on the engineers and directly address the concerns that some players had with them. So whilst the update contains quite a number of changes, there's three things in particular that have changed that we really want to have a close look at. The first is that when you now pin a blueprint, it will pin all grades of that blueprint rather than just one. So that means you can work a module all the way through grade 1 to grade 5 whilst using the remote engineering feature and you won't have to return to the engineer until you want something else. Of course, you're still going to have to go back to the engineer though if you want an experimental effect placed on the module but that's probably how it should be and ultimately this is really going to save quite a bit of unnecessary running around. The second change is one that's going to help a lot with the additional roles from grade 1 to grade 5 on every module. So engineers will now take reputation into account and will therefore reduce the number of roles between each grade. And this has actually been increased quite significantly and I'm going to take a look at that slightly further into the video. So whilst there were suggestions out there that um, players should be able to roll directly to grade 5 if they already had it unlocked, that's not quite this, but it is very close and it will certainly reduce the amount of materials that people would otherwise be wasting. The third change is some fairly significant and substantial changes to blueprints. Most of these are increases to the blueprint effects, whilst one or two are slight decreases. Here's a look at a few of the blueprints that have been changed, and for a full list, do check out the link in the video description. So, Dirty Drives have had a speed increase from 30% to 40%, and with the experimental effects, the maximum increase is now 47%, which, on the old version of the engineers, was extremely hard to get, but with the new system, you're now guaranteed to be able to get that. Clean drives have also been increased to allow maximum upgrade to be 34.4% compared to the previous 33.8%. Most weapon mods have also taken a big step forward, and a good example of this is the short range modification. On the live server, in the current version of the engineers, the maximum DPS increase for this is a 67.5%. On the new system, when combined with experimental effects, this is now 80%, so quite a large increase there. The frameshift drive blueprint has also had a change, and this is to the increased range modification. Optimized mass has now been lifted to 55%, and that's up from 50%. I'm actually going to take a closer look at that in this particular video, so do hang on. So again, for the full list of blueprint changes, and there are quite a few, do take a look at the link in the video description. Also, do keep in mind that as this is beta, the numbers are still subject to change and they could either go up or go down, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. But some of these changes are very positive indeed, so hopefully they're going to make it all the way through to live. The rest of the update for beta 2 does contain a number of other fixes and changes and for the full details on that, do check out the link below. So then, let's take a look at how some of the changes actually play out. I'm here at Black Hyde, which is basically the engineer that's been unlocked for everything on the open beta server. And we'll have a look at the FSD module again. This is a brand new 5A module, so it's got absolutely no upgrade on it. And first we'll take a look at pinning the blueprint. So you can access this from the engineer's menu on the side panel of your ship. And you can see that the dweller now has a little pinned icon there, and we can actually scroll through all the grades of this particular upgrade. So this serves as a good reminder for what materials you need for each upgrade, and there really isn't that many of them, as you'll see in just a moment. And do remember, we can use the pinned blueprint here to craft this particular upgrade from any outfitting screen anywhere in the galaxy. So let's have a look at the upgrade process in effect, and remember this will be affected by your reputation with a particular engineer. So you may remember I needed to do quite a few rolls previously, I think it was around about three, to fully unlock grade two. And you can see that completes with just a single roll now. And the same is true for grade two. And whilst it doesn't complete the little circle there, it does unlock grade three straight away. A couple of rolls here will unlock grade four. And as you can see, the random element for the upgrade process has either been removed or dramatically reduced. The upgrade from 4 to 5 still uses the most material consumption though, as these are still pretty high at material requirements. So whilst it's not especially ideal at the moment, it is a big improvement over where we were not too far back. So 3 rolls of that unlocks grade 5. So then, in terms of time investment, grades 1 and 2 are pretty much insignificant. Grade 3 perhaps takes a little bit more time, but that's certainly where the material trader can come in and help. 
I'm still personally feeling that the material trader is not too good when it comes to grade 4 and grade 5 materials. Whilst it certainly does help and is a fantastic feature, I'm finding the exchange rates just a little bit too expensive. But do keep in mind that I'm not the type of player to go out there and rigorously hunt down materials, so I guess your mileage will vary over what you feel you're getting out of that. So a few trips there to the material trader, and I actually had to spend a little bit of time outside the station to get some data mined wake exceptions because I didn't have enough materials to trade up. And we're back here to increase the rest of the way to the top of grade 5. So then, here you can see that a maxed out increased range of FSD with the experimental effect mass manager on gives an increase of 61.2% on optimised mass. So, not too shabby at all. At any rate then, there are the changes for the Beta 2 update, and I'd love to hear from you as to what you think about these changes. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.